April of 2017 represents the 100th anniversary of America's entry into what was at the time called the World War, because it was the first time there had ever been such a thing. It eventually became known as the Great War or just the First World War, once there was a Second World War. Um, that anniversary, you know, knowing that that was coming, um, got me thinking a couple years ago about what was the story of the First World War. It felt in a way so distant. In some ways the Civil War felt a little bit closer. It felt like it was a European event. Oh yeah, Americans did take part, but what did it really mean? And the more I read, the more I realized that it actually was unbelievably relevant and extremely important. Probably one of the most important events in our nation's history. It's the moment when America goes from a relatively isolated country with oceans on either side to step onto the world stage and become a world power, and we've never gone back. Uh, it's the moment when America wrestles with the tension between civil liberties and national security, and we have the second Sedition Act passed in our history that shuts down dissent. Uh, it's a moment when different groups are reaching for a piece of the American promise and think that the war is the context that they can get it. Women are reaching for the vote, just as the war is heating up. African Americans are reaching for a greater sense of equality in this country and by participating in the war they think that that might actually help them break through. There's just a lot of investment in this event and, and a debate that goes on from 1914 to 1917 before we get committed to the war that is so relevant to today. So we decided to tell this important historical story through characters and we have such a rich number of characters. We have nurses, we have soldiers in the trenches, we have General John Pershing, we have a president, Woodrow Wilson, who's wrestling with them whether America should be in the war, makes the commitment, sees in the war the opportunity to create this new peaceful future based around a League of Nations and the struggle to get that enacted, which he's never successful at, will eventually kill him. He'll become a casualty of the war. It's a rich panoply of characters that I think will really bring this to life for American viewers.